Oliver. Uh, today we had results from Barclays and a big strategy review and announcement. I guess this was uh, a chance to take ownership of Barclays by the new ch chief executive, Anthony Jenkins, who took over from Bob Diamond. Did he do so? Well, he certainly stamped his, his mark on the bank. He mm. certainly stamped his rhetoric on the bank. He says they want to be the go-to bank for all stakeholders, whatever that might mean. Uh, but certainly some people are impressed that the shares are up eight, uh, well, 7 to 8% mm. today. So it's mm. a pretty good share price jump. And, and what he's done is, uh, is fairly good in some areas, but perhaps not as radical as he, he could have been in others. Right. I mean, what he had to do, essentially, it seems to me, was to remake the investment case for buying Barclays shares. That was the big challenge, really. Mm. You know? Yeah, that was the challenge. And he, he's done that to an extent, largely through cutting costs. Mm. And I, I think what what the market likes today is the, the extent to which he's cutting costs. He's promising to cut out about 10,000 costs by 2015. Mm. And sort of working backwards from that and using the cost to income ratio that he's promising, you can you can see what sort of revenue he's thinking at by 2015. Uh, potentially, there's quite a big jump in earnings by then. So I think that's what the market likes. Whether he can get there is different, though, yeah. because it, it's uh, uncertain what sort of economic conditions will be helping along. Absolutely. And also, of course, he's had to cut back here and there as well. So, but he's, he's kind of downsizing to, a, to an extent in bits of the bank and leaving other bits of it sort of untouched. Mm. And, you know, it's, it's kind of the same Barclays as it ever was, except that it might be a bit tamer or a bit more, you know, sort of I think the word they use a lot of the time is ethical. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's that's more basically ethically focused. That's essentially what he's done. It is more or less the same bank that Bob Diamond left behind last summer when he left. It's it's based around a big UK retail business and credit mm. card business, the big London-based investment bank, mm. and the US-based equities business that they bought from Lehman uh, in, in New York in mm. 2008. That's still the core of the bank. What he's changed is some of the things around the edges. They're not in soft commodities tra trading anymore. He's pulled out of the... Uh, Tax, yeah, uh, tax, structure. tax structuring unit, and he's promising to, to reduce the, the compensation so that the rewards should be slightly more skewed towards shareholders. But I wonder, will this silence the tide of criticism about Barclays, particularly here in the UK? I think it will for the moment, mm. if, if he can implement it. I mean, the, the proof of the pudding will be in the eating. Well, can he get all of this through? Can he make all these changes? And more importantly, can he change the, 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 the ethics of the bank? Can he, can he avoid the sort of the PPI mis-selling and the other structural product mis-selling yeah. that we've seen over the past few years, that the results today had a two and a half billion pound provision for these sorts of things. It's that kind of thing that he's really got to cut out. Okay. Well, it was a, certainly a big moment for Barclays and a big moment for Anthony Jenkins, the new CEO. S so, somebody was impressed because the shares are up 7%. Let's see how they continue to perform after this.